now we have created a new project and try to create some something okay something in it uh, based on our roadmap now if i see if i see our project structure i mean before before doing development you should know your project structure like where all those things reside where what thing reside and what are the work of those things we close this component and this so so once we once we give this command npx create react app it it create you it it, it, it create a application or, or the react application in your computer okay and what are the thing what are the thing it will bring with it it will bring a node modules node modules folder so node modules folders contain all the dependency or, or i will say all the libraries okay into your application so if you see the library if you see the library then in in the list of library you will get the react also let me see whether i can find the react library or not eqr eqr yeah so this this is react okay now in order to make your make your application running with all those things like like it should run on the http server and all those things it I mean with react it brings all those all the other libraries also okay any question here no okay so this is the library this is the library this react library which we see here so this is the library which has been developed by facebook and which are maintained by facebook so it only contains this much of codes this that's it these are the things only okay these are the things and 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 when we run when we run we see all those things like it is it is running on some port and everything those are done by the different library so so react development dev tools give us some kind of structure okay some kind of structural thing which use react as well as other components also other things also okay and give you some kind of framework it's not a framework again it's not a framework but some kind of structural environment to write your react code any question here Uh, any question here from me from any one of you no sir no okay so now we understand what is react if, if i if i tell you a library now i can see okay in our mode mo, node modules along with the other thing when we when we uh, when we include a, this thing there is one in, in one library okay so and, and one more thing instead of this you can directly use react from the cdn also since it's a library so so similar to bootstrap or similar to jquery it also have have its own cdn library okay so, so so you don't need to create all the structure all those things you don't need to include all those things to run your react in html so or, or in your browser or, or, or in your web application you can use it by the help of cdns only like how like you can you can use in this way only okay you have to you have to uh, include this to this to cdn react development and react dom, DOM development or js if you can include this to in any html page you can use react so in my earlier days in 2017 i first used react by use of this cdn only okay so now uh, based on our roadmap i think we understand like what is react and the in development environment okay so we can we can use it through cdn 
we can use it by creating a react application which react development console give us by the by the help of this command npx create react app and when we when we type those things it create this kind of project structure in our machines what it and it contain node modules it contain one public folder where my html and our image manifest robot file should be there then one src src our main source file where we will write our code then package json and package log json these are the node features where we we keep our dependency package in package.json we, we keep our dependency and package log json mean it is a dependency again which depend upon the parent dependency mean mean react can uh, can again depend on other dependency so the dependent dependency are written in package log.json okay and if we go and see our src what it did it created one uh, one i would say component for us and it name it as app and you can see what it did it created three files css js and then one test test file and second thing what it did it create the index files also our index css and index js and this report web starter and then test file okay so this app.css mean what it mean the uh, the css which we will write for our specific component so by seeing this we understand we need to create our component and and the name of our component should be in js dot js file okay and all the css which are related to our component should be inside one css file and we should name that file similar to our component name okay so if, if i use app.js then my component file should be a css file for this component should be app.css and our test file should be app.test.js okay this index this index.css file is the is the i would say global css for our projects so whatever css we want to be present to all the component irrespective of our place whatever component which are there in our src folder then that global css we will find we will write inside our index.css okay <coughs> and index.js uh, where is a file where our react js code get render mean get loaded okay and where it get loaded it get loaded into this index.html file so so in short in react react work with single page application logic it means it will have only one page and the name of that page is index.html and inside index.html it include this index.js file so whenever your application get loaded it will it load index.js file along with it so these two are the entry point of your application by default okay and if we want to change the entry point if you want to change those things like uh, and, and and inside index.html we have this id okay so so whatever thing we write in component when react compile it put it here why it put it here because inside our index.js we told to render everything to render react into this root dom okay so what happened when we when 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 react js get compiled and and when it open it into the browser whatever component we we return at first on loading time whatever whatever thing we add in our index.js component like, like this component this thing will load into this file in this place okay any question till here no okay 
so what what we can do let us remove everything and as i told you like we should know how to set up our de development environment so we need to set up our development environment based on our convenience mean with, uh, the way i like to be okay it's it's not that ki agar aapko de diya hai you have to use in this way only you can use in your way no so i i don't prefer uh, giving this thing on outside what i prefer i i generally prefer to have everything in in one folder okay and since we are not doing any testing and i am bad at testing also i will remove others thing okay and then i will create one folder and name that folder name as components what i will do i will no, let it be there and inside component what i will do i will write i will create a folder structure okay based on our module based on our modules i will create the folder structure and put everything there like for any website i need a dashboard or home page instead of dashboard let name it as home so I, i will create a home and then create two files okay home dot js and home dot css let it be only home dot js then here i will create another file like login sorry not the file okay we name it login dot js okay and let me delete everything okay now when i run this when i try to compile this you will get lots of error right why why i, I am getting lots of error because i have removed many thing and i try to make your application in my convenience so that i can write a code so what are the thing i have done i have i, I did not teach touch the public portion okay what what i did i touch the src folder and try to make it uh, in a way where i can understand where i can easily able to write the code okay so so whatever file i have delete i have to i have to remove it i have to mean change it so that i can i can use those thing okay so i have removed app.js i have removed app.css and all those thing but you will see those thing those files are included here and if any file which are not present and if you include that file it will give some errors okay what i will do i will remove this thing and now you can see compilation get completed okay so this would be your fourth point you should know how to set up your development environment okay where you should keep your file how can you remove your file how can you add a folder into your applications any question any dot here i think these are from from our uh, previous classes only okay now once i once i uh, know how to how to structure our application so so what i, I mean before doing anything i make a decision what decision i made i make a decision that all our components should be inside this component folder this was my first decision then the second decision what i made whatever component we will we will make we will modelize it I mean based on the modules we will create the folders so for login all the component related to login should be inside login folder all the component related to home should be on home folder okay so in this way we decide i decide like these are my path or these are my algorithm or or I, i will say design pattern these are the design pattern i will follow whenever i will write any component uh, before before writing any component we should decide <coughs> like for which module it is and based on our modules we will give a 
folder which defines the modular structure of our application. Okay, why I did this? All of you are clear? Okay. Now, the next portion. As I told you earlier, like React is a library which is used to build the user interface with the help of component. Now come the questions like what is component? Anybody can give you answer? Anyone? Anybody knows what is component? Component is a reusable unit uh, in uh, ReactJS. Okay, component is a reusable unit in ReactJS. So, so can anybody else el elaborate what 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 uh, America <laughs> told? Okay, first of, can you try? Even in Hindi, Bangla, I don't have any any issue with those things. So whatever you know, can you try? Like like uh, as Venka told, like component give you a reusable uh, code or, or, or okay in in your application. So can you can you try? Like what what does those things mean? Okay, okay, let's move forward. So we can write component in either of these two way. Either of these two way. Let us let us go to our home page and write our component. Okay. See, we are writing a functional component, so it will be a function only. So, so in programming term, we can say component is a function, right? which return some kind of HTML and we can reuse it to build our application. Right. Component is what? When you see this code, you can see it's a function, right? It's a function which returns something, which returns something and this, this thing is called fragment. So which return a fragment. Okay. And with the help of this component, react used to build our user interface ui so react is nothing but how how to use this thing that's all that that is the work of this react library nothing then we will include other library to make a react to build our uh, ui ui process so if anybody asks you to create a component, so it's, it's simple. It's just a function. So if you if you if you see this thing and find it complex, you can omit this thing and simply simply use this way. What you see here? What you see here, you see a function, right? If you are in JavaScript, you can easily relate. Okay, it's just a function, but with a bit difference. What difference it is? It returns also, but in return, we write in different way. We write in fragment way. Okay, we are returning something in round bracket and we are returning HTML inside it. So programmatically, it's a function that return an HTML. Okay. And with the help of HTML, we create our uh, content. So with the help of this component, we create our user interface or, or the UI portion of our React application. Any question here? Any dot here? And since, since I told you, like, we build the whole react application with the help of component it's mean 
this component should be accessible from outside and in javascript in order to make any file or, or in any functions or, or any variables in our files to be accessible from outside place we need to export that thing so we are doing the same thing we are exporting this function we are exporting this function now in react we call it this as component so we are exporting this component so that we can reuse this component and build our whole application anyone have anything no yeah so let us i let us decide like which way you will write your component you will write first way or you will write second way both are good anyone you can choose and and the third way was to by use of the class but i will say don't choose class for now go for functional component because after react 16 it has been advisable to use functional component only don't use react component it is there but it may get obsolete in in upcoming year okay it's better to use a, the yeah having a knowledge of class based function uh, class based component uh, it will be okay if yeah it would be okay because you might come into a situations where you have to support some project and those projects may have the class based component but for new projects always go for functional based component don't go for class based component okay in class based component you will find like this class app and components okay it, it, it there there you will write your component like this way okay this way you will write those okay just we have to just write this thing class app external component no and uh, then some con then some concept comes uh, for the class okay uh, so some kind of difference are there like like how we read data now uh, in functional based component we use hooks but in class based component we use bind okay some properties difference are there I mean the way class work and the way functions work there are some difference in in those things so class based component are, are basically similar to swift programming okay so if you see the swift programming it will be similar to that most of the thing are same but few few difference i mean there are some difference in the way we we uh, captures the data in the way we call the functions there are concept of constructor and all those thing those thing are not there in in function i mean in those constructor those way we use on we use it on different way in functional based component but yeah it's it, it is good to have knowledge and class based component but whenever you are doing a projects a new projects always go for the functional based component component functional based component are more simple then class based component okay and and it is recommended uh, by the react team also to use all, only the functional based component from react 16 okay but but all the work a functional based component you can you can do it from class based component there is no restriction like that okay okay sir so so what i told like before doing any development we should we should uh, we should decide our architecture right we should decide our design pattern like what what we should do so similar to that before writing your uh, react js code you should you should you should decide like how we will create our component function whether a, a component whether i will go for the component based uh, function based component or whether we will go for class based component so as react uh, itself tell you to go for the react based component uh, sorry functional based component no need to go for the class based component for the new projects okay but for knowledge uh, this was this is how we write our class based component okay then now then now uh, what we need to decide we need to decide like how we will write our function component we have to be consistent in our application even if you are writing a single line uh, your 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 uh, that single line should be similar to the others lines which you which you write 
like what decision i made i made a decision while creating a creating a folder i will always use capital letter in giving the folder name okay you can see every place they are using the small letters but why i am using differently here because react use capital letter okay why it use capital letter because react bring the concept of jsx where it manipulate the doms where you can you can work on html on css and in order to make your component different than this like like if i use if i use something like home okay something like this so so by seeing this name you can distinguish use whether it's it is the it is the base default uh, tags or it's a component okay so so if it start from capital letter it's mean it's a component so the developer we will work on the code can easily whenever he will see this html he can he can able to decide oh this home since it start from a capital letter it should be a component now go and find the component and see what logic it is written here then only i can understand what it is displaying here okay so in this way we have to we have to follow this design pattern like whenever we will work on react we will create any projects or create any file it should start with capital letter same thing for functions also for components also when we create any components it should start with a capital letter why we are doing this we are doing this to distinguish our components from html tags okay okay <coughs> how oh, how can we how can we create a component anybody can can uh, type and show me here how can we create a component pankaj venkat or kastav anybody uh, firoz anybody can uh, can show, show share your screen and tell me how can we create a component in any text file can anybody of you can show show me that <laughs> just give a try kastav can you can you give a try for this like how can you create a component <laughs> pankaj or venkat can you two anybody of anybody between you two silent kastav left in order to create a create any component you have to you have to use this this line of code only okay the uh, name yes the name yeah in in any file in any html uh, i mean in, in any text file also okay if you can show it this in notepad also that will be that would be enough okay i am sharing my screen yeah I can create like this export to default function. Uh, it will have a return statement. It will have in. Uh,
और आप पर या ग्रेट सो दिस दिस इज आवर कंपोनेंट इन दिस इज द वे वेयर वी राइट आवर कंपोनेंट सिंपल वी कैन क्रिएट लाइक दिस आल्सो वी कैन एक्सपोर्ट टू डिफॉल्ट like this other uh, you can create class components yeah 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 that's it that's it that's it that's it function so all of you know right now you know how we create a component no doubt if i ask you if i go there let me share my screen okay so that's thank you thank you for your your help so now here what i did i created two components right home and then login so we for my case i am using i am using this way i am thinking this is my uh, main way where i can create a component now along with this along with this where we should write what kind of thing So this component come up with three sections. I would say, okay, with three sections. I will, I, I will uh, break my component into three sections. let it be let me give it in this okay we can divide our component into three sections okay. or i would say four sections Okay, fine. In first section, what you will do, or 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 at top of the page, you have to import all dependent library. Or okay. yeah, yeah, library modules. Okay, whatever thing you said or dependencies. Okay. Okay. So you have to import all those things. when you have to include any dependencies any library any modules anything you want to import you have to write on the top okay this is our first portion then the second portion contain here you in this portion you can utilize utilize to create functions Okay. Or global the functions. So if you write some specific functions, you have to write it here. I mean, I would say you can utilize it to write JS code. To write JS code, but <laughs> like functions, okay, like function. So from this place, you cannot interact the HTML. Okay, it will not be accessible. The HTML portion can only be accessible within the functions. So, so within this, uh, I, I would say not, not the function within this uh, components. So all the JS code, all the JS code, which interact with HTML, 
should be here. Okay, and this portion contain our HTML code. So in this way, first we will create our React application. Then what I did, I break our component into four different parts, right? On top, what I will do, on top portion, I will import all the libraries, dependencies, modules, whatever thing we need, okay? On second portion, I can write some JS code like functions, but from this place, you cannot interact this thing. Those functions cannot interact. Mean those function can be something like like add. In add, we can write the add function which which take two variables and return something, but but it cannot return directly here. You should you should call it from somewhere here, and then from here you can update your HTML portion. Okay, so. The function which are defined outside the, I would say, uh, component, it cannot, uh, I mean, update your HTML portion which are defined inside the component. Okay. Then, uh, then inside our component, we write our JS code that interact with the with the HTML. Okay. HTML or components. Okay. Okay, fine. Any question here? Anyone have any question here? No question, then we can move forward. Now we know this much of thing. Let me remove this thing. Let me remove everything. So in our learning, now we went to, in our roadmap, we able to understand this much of things, right? We know the HTML CSS, we know something like how we can use Git, CLI and everything. And we understand what is React, how, and we understand like how to develop our, make our uh, development environment. And now I, I, I told you like how to create your components okay now how can we use this component how can you use this component we can we can use it in several ways these are i would say a fragment or the part of our our design and we have to utilize this thing uh, in a multiple way and make our applications okay. so suppose suppose we created two component one name is app and second one is login and name this as login. Let me give something here. This is my home page, and then inside this component. Welcome to we have this thing. Now, the first thing, first question which I want to ask from you, like how can we include this component inside another component? How can we reuse this thing? Anybody have this answer? How can we reuse? So have to uh, export in this file and have to import in uh, where we want to use. Yes. So in order to reuse, your component should be exported. So first thing I, I checked, okay, my component is exported. This means I can reuse this component to any other place. Okay. So how can we reuse this thing? We will import it. Import, okay. Login from login components, okay. And then what I will do in order to write this thing, I will give something like this. 
what happened and again if you see this thing since i used capital letter see it distinguish between these two things and by seeing this a uh, developer can able to understand like okay this is a html tax and whatever thing i am seeing here it should be only from this place because this is an html tag but but this portion the login portion is a capital one so it must come from some component and then he will go up and see okay it, it got imported from this places so let us uh, let's wait for 5 minute okay and then we will join again okay let's take a 5 minute break now 